आजकल लोग I put out a challenge. The most disgusting thing about the prophet. So he kind of put out this kind of uh, things to, uh, to to disprove, which is not very easy to disprove anything. And uh, so in this challenge, he said uh, the three thing. Uh, I think for five things. The most uh, disturbing thing. The most uh, disturb uh, disturbing thing that Prophet Muhammad did or uh, about him. But in this video, he's kind of admitted that he deliberately put out this challenge. So what happen if you engage with them? You are actually appropriating their them. You are you are proving them right by engaging them or or uh, or getting into the conversation. Even if you are talking about this stuff, you are proving them right. So this kind of dirty tactic that that those Christian, those white racist Christian, you that one right? Dis disgusting. I didn't even. I, it had, it had been pointed out that he made a response to me. Um, disgusting. I, I, this, I didn't uh, think he responded to Muhammad. the disgusting facts about Muhammad. That's actually cool because I actually responses. asked for responses. So I, I might at some point have to check that out because I don't think they can defend the, the Muhammad being covered with semen, right? I don't. I don't think they can actually. But but guys, keep in mind. Uh, you got it. You, the prophet being covered in semen is not actually what happened. The, the story is different. What he's saying different than what he's saying. This kind of they kind of deliberately made, made this false narrative. And if you're engaging with them, you're proving them right. He's going to say I'll always be thinking uh, ahead, two steps, three steps ahead of other people, right? Exactly. These guys don't seem to understand, right? When I make a video called "Top Five Most Disgusting Facts About Muhammad" and then I challenge Muslims, let's see if you can defend this point, right? When I do that, if they take that bait and actually respond. I really don't care what they. I really don't care what they say. My goal was to get them to address the issue, right? If they even respond, then information that was previously not exactly. in the heads of this man's followers are now in the heads of that man's so followers. This kind of information warfare. He's kind of engaging in information warfare, messaging or creating a narrative. And that. I don't that even believe the semen, semen shit that he's saying. He's kind of and making getting them out of Islam. Yeah, yeah, that's it.